All right, folks, um, I am going to review some jalapeno popper snack that sticks cheddar cheese from TGI Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Well, it's not. It's a Monday morning, and unfortunately, I'm on nights. So I'm just doing these before I go and climb into my pit to get some sleep before my 12-hour night shift. Uh, I picked these up the other day uh, from a place in Syston. Uh, it's a pound stretcher thing. Uh, you know, one of those cheap. Where you go and get all your cheap stuff? I like to buy all my uh, food flavouring and condiment things from there. They've got some really good stuff there. It's um, it, it, People should go and try it. It's okay. Well, I'm just going to stick the other leg under the table and keep that chair out of the way. Um, so I picked these up. They were, I think they were 69 pence. Um, I've only ever been to a TFI for TGI Friday uh, once, years and years ago, in Coventry uh, with a mate and his ex-girlfriend that she is now. Um, but it was good. We enjoyed it. It was really good. Uh, there is one in Leicester, so I might, uh, I might give that a go. But um, it, the, the, they've stuck this thing over the back, this piece of sticky paper thing that's got more information on it. I don't know why, um, but these cheaper places, let's see if I can peel it off. Oh. Well, I've peeled it off. Best before Origin C uh, USA. Um, I don't know why that's stuck on there. It's probably the ingredients. Ah, you, the ingredients, on, I don't know. I haven't got a clue. All right, TGI Friday was one of the first American casual, casual, dining, uh, look at my hair. I ain't got a lot, but what I've got looks a mess. Uh, I need to shave it off before I go work. Um, offers a unique dining experience with becoming a favorite pastime of millions worldwide. TGI Friday's opened its first restaurant in 1965, folks, 1965. And today is a legacy of fun, fantastic food content, and its fantastic food continues. Uh, UD Kosher, it's gluten-free. The uh, Friday Cheddar Cheese Jalapeno Poppers will wow your taste buds with some kicking jalapenos, cheddar flavor in a light and crispy snack. So I won't give any of these to the dogs because um, they might be a bit hot. The dog, uh, the doodle's recovered, folks. If any of you uh, were worried about the doodle, um, it'd been eating some, uh, you know, like the, the lumps of lard you get with the bird seed stuck on it and you hang it from the tree. Well, it fell down and the doodle had ate it and he'd got the uh, screaming eebie jeebies and he was going around on the floor like R2D2, dragging his backside all over the place, but that has now cleared up, folks, so the doodle is okay. The doodle is okay, but I won't give him any of these. It's not sticky, the bloody kid's been here. Look, don't know how they do it. How do kids do it? It's sticky stuff all over the place. So it's a trans fat, whatever that means. Uh, it's a new flavor. And uh, best before, Date of production was 30th of April 2018, and it's best before April 2019. So, they don't smell very hot or anything like that. They smell a bit greasy, to be fair. They smell a bit, yeah, greasy. And um, you look inside the packet, and they look like what's it? What's it with the black bits on them? Ooh, they have got a bit of heat. Bloody hell. There's not a lot of cheddar cheese in the taste of that. But they're really hot. Well, I wouldn't say really hot. But I wasn't expecting that amount of intense heat. They've got a bit of a 
tangy, greasy. A bit like when you've been to a chip shop. It's not a very good chip shop. And the chips taste of um, old grease, old chip fat. That kind of thing. Yeah. Got a bit of a, a greasy effect to them. But the heat, you can't fault the heat. And there's not really a lot of cheddar cheese flavour there. I can see why. Mm. Yeah, I can see why. I can see why they only made it to um, a pound stretcher store. I don't think, uh, I've never seen them in any other well known supermarket or shop and um yeah they leave a bit of a an oily greasy taste in your mouth basically folks i won't be buying these again but please you try them if you see them you try them and uh, let me know your opinion uh, in the comments at the bottom. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll have one more. No. No. They're not for me. I won't be buying them again. It's a shame, really, because they could have been really good. If you use a different kind of oil or grease or whatever they use to cook them in, something fresher, um, what they use, buttermilk, maize meal, soya bean, I wonder if it's that soya bean oil, I wonder if that's what the taste is. Yeah, well, um, yeah, I shan't be bothered with that again, folks, but please, um, you try them by all means, but I won't be buying them again. Laters.